Doja Cat has made a ton of ruckus online ahead of her upcoming album which she revealed is titled First of All. Doja has teased this project for a while, and let it be known that she would be moving in a different sonic direction, and wanted to make records that put her rapping at the forefront, after making many pop-oriented hits. Now Doja recently went on a tirade dissing her breakthrough albums and fans that like them. In a long line of tweets, she said, Planet Her and Hot Pink were cash grabs and y'all fell for it. Now I can go disappear somewhere and touch grass with my loved ones on an island, while y'all weep for mediocre pop. She then said it's not called Hellmouth either, it's called First of All. And yes, I'm announcing the album title right now, which Hellmouth is kind of a better title, but anyways. She says everyone is so angry, and then she goes on a long list just trolling, and then she also agreed with a comment that called her fans dumb. Before that, she also talked about her rap verses, and she said, I also agree with everyone who said the majority of my rap verses are mid and corny. I know they are. I wasn't trying to prove anything. I just enjoy making music. And I'm getting tired of hearing y'all say that I can't, so I will. No more pop. Now, this isn't the first time Doja has expressed disdain for her music or something in her career. Right around the time Planet Her dropped, she said that she knew Tyler the Creator made better music while they were in chart competition for which album would land at the number one spot. She also expressed dissatisfaction with her career and said that she doesn't enjoy it anymore within the past year. But she backtracked on that statement. There's a clear pattern here. Now, it's one thing to dislike your previous music. I think any artist has that right. But you can say what you want about the albums without dissing your fans for liking them or enjoying them, when it's quite literally the albums that catapulted you into being the star that you are today. Acting like you've gotten a one-up on the people who've supported you and got you to where you are, and acting like they're stupid for enjoying the music that you put out, is just rude. Now, I'm not sure if I entirely believe Dojo when she says that Planet Her and Hot Pink were just cash grabs, you know, because that implies that she wasn't invested into them, she didn't really care about them, and simply just pushed them out for the sole sake of money. But the thing is, there's been times where she's gotten mad at people for criticizing her music, she's also gotten mad at people for mishearing her lyrics, and that just doesn't sound like someone who didn't have any investment at all into these projects and just put it together for money. You know, you would not get mad at something so frivolous if money was your only goal. Now I will say with most pop stars, they start off by building up their hits and then later they tend to take more creative risks, you know, whatever that may be. But the way Doja went about this was very disrespectful to the people who have genuinely supported her. And being that the way she dissed her previous albums was so harsh, the expectation for her next album will be incredibly high. Because you can't say something like that and not come with straight fire. Like, no excuses, straight fire. And if it's anything less than good or great, it will not be a good look for Doja. Now, as far as my opinions on these albums and how it relates to Doja as an artist, Doja is certainly more pop-centric but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think some people use pop as a dirty word or look at it as something to be frowned upon, but it's not. If you do good pop music, then that's something to be proud of. And I think the overall appeal of Doja is that she does a little bit of everything. But I also don't think there's anything wrong with her wanting to improve upon her rap skills and putting them at the forefront of her artistry. Now, as it pertains to the two albums that she called out, I think Hot Pink is a decent stepping stone. It's on trend, it's catchy, it's colorful. You know, I think there's a lot of potential in that album, although I wouldn't say it was fully realized. On the other hand, I think Planet Her, some of the songs on Planet Her, you know, stripped that colorfulness on the production side of things out of Doja as an artist. Some of the songs were generic moody trap beats that I don't feel really captured the best qualities of Doja as an artist. But I wouldn't say either of these albums are bad or terrible. They both have some great moments. Well, as you guys can see, she's made it perfectly clear that she's going in a different sonic direction and artistic direction as well. But I will say this, when pop stars start making grand statements about their upcoming music and especially dissing their old music, 
it almost never ends well and pretty much never meets expectations. So it will be interesting to see how Doja navigates all of this, but she definitely shouldn't have taken anything out on the fans. Also, this girl was on stage crying while accepting her Grammy. So I do find it hard to believe that she had zero emotional interest or involvement in those records. But whatever she's doing, she's clearly trying to destroy expectations of another hot pink or planet her. But there was a much better way to go about this. 